Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spinelli and Maxi participated in an axe throwing competition with Sasha and Cody at the range. Spinelli informed Cody that he was not interested in dating Maxi. Cody claimed he did not believe Spinelli. Maxi pressed Sasha to admit she had feelings for Cody. Sasha explained that she and Cody were only buddies. Spinelli and Cody returned. Everybody threw axes. Maxi told Spinelli how much she enjoyed having him as a house guest. Sasha made an accurate throw. Spinelli then threw a bullseye as well. Spinelli and Maxi hugged after winning the competition. In the gatehouse of the Quartermain estate, Michael thought Willow was ready for him to return permanently. She said that she needed more time. Michael lied when he claimed he had been completely honest with Sonny earlier. Willow stated that she sensed a cruel streak in Drew when he mentioned Nina. Michael and Willow agreed that Drew should not be held responsible for Nina's mistreatment. They claimed Nina was attempting to destroy their marriage. Wiley ran downstairs. He was thrilled that Michael was staying the night. After putting Wiley to bed, Michael discovered Willow asleep on the couch. Michael smiled. At Carly's mansion, Jocelyn contemplated whether to reveal her grief over Spencer's death on social media. Jocelyn stated she didn't want to make Spencer's death about herself, yet she still shared the message. She was pleased when Trina liked it. Jocelyn left to meet Dex at the Savoy. After that, Drew and Carly discussed Crimson. The subject went to Nina. Drew resolved to stop Nina and make her pay. Carly stated that Nina was proof that vengeance can backfire. Drew mentioned that Nina had more to lose. Carly requested that Drew swear to leave Nina alone if he wanted her to continue at Crimson. Drew promised to put a pause on Nina. At the Savoy, Brick flirted with Jordan while drinking. Dex sat alone in a local tavern. When Brick contacted Dex, he discovered an expensive credit card in his name. Dex used the card to buy beverages for Brick and Jordan. Brick returned to his table with Jordan. He kept flirting before receiving a text. Jocelyn approached Dex, who realized she didn't want to be there. Jocelyn and Dex went left. Brick saw Dex depart and stepped up to say goodnight to Jordan. Later in Dex's apartment, he held Jocelyn in bed. Jagger and Sonny finally met in Sonny's office at Posulo's after a long time apart. Jagger claimed that he was in Port Charles to save Sonny's life. Jagger said that it was his responsibility to tell Sonny that his life was in danger and that the FBI had confirmed that Sonny was the target of the Metro Court attack. Jagger urged Sonny to reveal all he knew about the shooting. When Sonny mentioned that Jagger had despised him for years, Jagger stated that he was willing to forget the past. Jagger urged Sonny to put aside their differences for the benefit of others. Jagger acknowledged Curtis and stated that Curtis considered Sonny a close friend. Sonny claimed that Jagger was trying to provoke him. Jagger said that whomever shot at Sonny was someone who knew him. He further revealed that the shooter was already in Sonny's house. Sonny stated that he would not speak to Jagger again without dying there. As Jagger was leaving, Sonny welcomed him back to Port Charles. Moments later, Brick entered with important news for Sonny. I found something. Someone in your organization owns an offshore bank account. The sort with too many zeros. Three guesses as to who it belongs to, Brick replied. I just need one, Sonny remarked, pausing briefly. Dex, Sonny inquired. According to General Hospital teasers, Sonny Corinthos and Ava Jerome's relationship has evolved considerably in recent years. They progressed from mortal foes to cohesive co-parents and dare I say it, friends. Still, with his baby mommy lately moved into the penthouse and him and his wife, Nina Rees on the outs, might these two be headed for a love reunion? But would there be a reunion? After all, viewers who know Ava and Sonny's past understand that the two were never actually together. They had a one-night stand, which led in the birth of Avery Corinthos, and they never got along over the years. In fact, the last several months have brought them closer than they have ever been in their life. 
Could parenting and friendship lead to more? Sunny and Ava have a special chemistry together. Despite loathing her for years, Sunny has recently become protective of Ava. While he has stated that this is for his kid and her best interests, he has gone to tremendous measures to keep his baby mother safe. Ava is Nina's best friend, and hooking up with the crime boss would be a big betrayal. Especially since, in many ways, Nina was the one who helped them bridge the gap and become far more friendly than they had ever been. According to General Hospital spoilers, the mystery shooter narrative will not be resolved, which means Ava will continue to live at Sunny's, allowing the two additional opportunities to bond. Could they lose control of their emotions one night? After all, Ava is unmarried, and Sunny believes his relationship with Nina is over. If Sunny and Ava hooked up, Avery would probably be overjoyed. They'd also be a formidable power couple in Port Charles. According to General Hospital spoilers, Dex Heller will express confusion when he is forced into a car with Sonny Corinthos, who will inform him that they are going for a short drive together. Dex will quickly notice Sonny's strained demeanor, but he will not instantly understand why. Sonny has had a lot of problems lately, so Dex's thoughts will not immediately jump to the worst-case scenario. Nonetheless, things will change once Sonny starts hinting about how essential loyalty is to him. Dex will gradually discover Sonny believes he is the one who betrayed him, especially after the automobile arrives at the Pine Barrens. According to GH previews, Dex will panic when he arrives to the iconic mob burial site and will scramble to explain. Of course, Sonny will demand answers about Dex's offshore account and the large payment that was recently made into it. Sonny will insist on learning the truth about Dex's previous employment because he believes it is related to the threat to his life in Puerto Rico. Dex will realize that he can't play dumb or pretend Sonny is wrong about him harboring secrets. All Dex can do now is throw himself at Sonny's mercy and claim he doesn't have all the facts. Dex will tell Sonny that he is on his side, but he refuses to reveal what he is hiding. Instead, Dex will implore Sonny to simply trust him and understand that this is all about protection. Dex won't tell anything regarding Michael Corinthos, Chad Duell, payment since it would indicate that he came on board as a plant with ulterior objectives to throw Sonny in prison. Dex won't see the value in disclosing that information and destroying Sonny's family if it means his own death. When he runs out of alternatives, Dex will chose to remain silent and commit suicide. Sonny will give Dex one more chance to make a full confession, but Dex appears to be willing to die if that is what Sonny wants. However, Carly Spencer will make a terrible epiphany elsewhere. May she catch on and call Sonny to stop him. Michael or even Jocelyn Jacks are other options for someone to intervene on Dex's behalf, so stay tuned for updates on whether Dex's life will be saved at the last minute. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.